Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Doug and today I would like to talk to you about another way to edit or manipulate your New Era 5950 caps or other fitted caps. I've been getting a lot of questions on the channel about uh, what do I do if I get a dent in the crown of my cap? So everybody knows who's a fan of the 5950, you've got this really stiff buckram on the front two panels of the cap that kind of gives it that raised crown profile and keeps it there. Um, and occasionally, if you've got a bad storage situation, you know, this is somewhere where something falls on top of it or is pressing down on it, or maybe you just sit on it or something like that, this buckram can take a set. It, it, so you might get a shape in it that you want to smooth out. So that's what I believe people are asking me about in terms of, hey, how do I fix a dent in the front two panels of my cap? So really what I wanted to do was show you just how durable and resilient the buckram is in this material. And as you see in a lot of my videos, um, heat is really the key to working with this stuff and getting it back to a shape that you uh, would like to have in your caps. Hat makers uh, always, always refer to the blocking of a hat. And basically that's using different forms to give the shape to the hat. So if you're talking about a nice wool fedora or a fitted cap these are all blocked um, and that's how you get the initial shape of this crown um, and especially with something as is uh, moldable as the buckram in these caps and what you'll need to do to kind of re-block the cap and repair these dents is find a form that will work for you so what works really well and the way i answer the comments or questions on my channel is is that a t-shirt or a towel or some combination thereof works really well as something that you can kind of roll into a ball and then stuff inside the front of the cap to give it a form so that when you heat it you can press outward on that form and get that smooth shape back as you heat it. So we're actually going to focus on two main problems. The first I would call dents and the second I would call creases. So dents are pretty straightforward. If you've got some sort of depression that's changed the shape, maybe it's a, uh, what looks like a divot, it's a little bit softer shape that's been imparted and set into your crown. Those are relatively straightforward to get out. And again, I'm talking heat, I'm talking steam, uh, where you get the heat and the moisture. The second one, creases. This is where something has actually put a fold into one of those front two panels with the buckram in it. And because the buckram has plastic fibers in it, um, those can sometimes get permanently kind of folded. So if you get a crease that's across a wide span of those fibers and the cloth that's part of the buckram, those can be very tricky to get out. And within this span of making this video, I've tried probably two or three separate techniques for, for getting those out. I'll show you what I found and uh, let you know what to expect in terms of how successful you can be in getting those all the way out. Okay, to give you an idea of how easy it is to uh, form and reshape this buckram here, um, this is actually a 3930 Dodgers cap, but you'll note that uh, from other videos, the buckram here is exactly the same. It's just smaller panels that are used in the 5950. So what we're gonna do is use the hairdryer to add uh, what I would really consider a dent um, to that. I'm going to actually use a Sharpie with the heat from the hairdryer um, and just use the shape of the Sharpie to impress a dent into the crown of that cap. So let's go ahead and do that. Just concentrating on heating one panel of this right now. I'm going to get that until I can feel the heat through the buckram on my fingers that I've got on that panel of the cap. And then as soon as I feel that getting pretty soft, I'm actually just going to use that Sharpie to kind of press the dent in there. See, I'm just pressing and holding that buckram there. Just trying to create this dent where you might have a cap that's been <clears throat> something has been stored on top of it or something's pressed in on the crown and maybe you get a defect like this there we got something <clears throat> and i'm going to let that cool 
a little bit more. Give it a few more minutes just to make sure it's completely cool. So hopefully you can see that depression that I made. I can kind of press that out with my finger, but it's still kind of there because I formed that shape in there. And if you get something that you can't quite manage out, it's just naturally biased to going back in like that. But what you can do is if you get something like that happening, you can again use a towel or or a soccer skills ball here um, that's about the size or the shape of that crown so you can see here i'm still getting a little bit of a dent even as i hold this ball in there it seems to take away this area but if i heat this buckram again and really press against the form of this ball or if i press against the form of this towel inside the cap i should be able to manage that and smooth that dent out of it so I'm going to go ahead and hit, hit it with the hair dryer again. Heat up that buckram to the softening point. Okay. So this is all we need to do. Sometimes the shape that you want, you have to be looking at it and you got to press out with the towel which is what I'm doing against my hand. So hopefully I'm not introducing any new dents from my fingers, but you can always go towel on the outside and on the inside if you want to avoid the risk of that. So really, I'm really trying to focus on that area where we had the dent, which was to the right of the LA cap when it's uh, right side up here. And again, I'm just holding until that cools off. So right there, I really can't feel any evidence from that dent anymore. So this is ready to wear again. And the towel does make it a little tricky. So again, you know, if you had something like this uh, soccer skills ball, this is a size one soccer ball, um, which you can probably get at a sporting goods store pretty inexpensively. That actually has a good shape that you can use. But you can see just with the towel, what I've been able to do in terms of smoothing out that dent. So it's got a little bit of the groove because it's been softened, but not so much more than any other spot on the cap. And it's got kind of that spring back. So I can feel maybe where I had that, but it still springs back to be in a smooth shape now. And uh, it's just a lot better. So that is a good sample of how you can manipulate the buckram on the inside with heat. And again, you can do this with steam or the hair dryer and that's what I would recommend for removing dents from these front two panels that have the buckram backing. So quick side note about the tiger's cap in the video that you're about to see. I actually intentionally grabbed hold of the, the panels of the crown, folded it a little bit and pressed a little bit. And uh, uh, what you're about to see is those prove to be pretty tricky to get out. So a lot of what you see me cycling through these techniques is just um, doing a little bit of scrambling and brainstorming, trying to figure out the best way to remove those. So uh, stay tuned and take a look at those techniques. Okay, so you can see here that I've got a couple of major creases in the front panels of this tiger's cap. So there's uh, three total. There's a couple of big ones that create a dent here on this side of the cap and then I put another one a little bit more subtle on that other panel there front two panels so all we're going to do is basically take the hair dryer here and then hit the inside of this buckram and I've got my towel line standby to press in from the outside of this cap so we're going to give it some heat now I take the towel Basically stuff it in there and then try and press it out. So I did put on a quick pair of gloves just to make sure with the heat that I'm going to be putting in. You can see the crease is still there. Um, those two. So I'm going to hit this with the heat again.
Now I'm kind of stretching this fabric right where I had those creases and using my fingers to keep that apart and keep it pressure against the soccer ball underneath. Just trying to hold that firmly there to get that shape restored in the buckram. We're starting to get a little better luck here. Now the buckram is so resilient that you can keep doing this over and over again as long as you're not melting it or anything or causing any problems like that. So you can see we've almost got this out. The upper one is still there. You can see, you can pick up on the shadow of it when I do that, but we're gonna keep going here. If you've seen any of my other videos, chances are you've seen me use a hat jack to stretch or shape uh, my fitted caps, and a hat jack is enormously useful for this as well. Um, if you were to take your same t-shirt, towel, whatever, fabric that you can put into a nice form, compact it and stuff it inside the cap, you can actually use the hat jack to uh, trap that to where it's creating a nice block and shape for your cap. So this is actually a little bit more of a full restoration type of uh, technique uh, to restore the shape of the entire cap. So now I've got the hat jack in. I actually added a second towel. So I've got two of them in there. I've tried to push it as much toward the front as possible. And uh, we're just gonna hit this with some steam and then I'm gonna smooth it out with my hands. I've got the water on the boil there behind it. Again, just using a little bit of pressure with that towel on the inside and trying to smooth that out on the outside. And that crease is slowly going away. Okay, it's looking pretty good. But this is a good way to do a whole cap restoration when you just need to get the shape reset, um, is to get a hat jack put a couple of towels inside of it, and then hit the whole thing with the steam. Because you can see here how I could push this towel out a little bit more, get rid of some of this, maybe smooth out some of the wrinkles. So it's a good way to kind of re-block the cap. These creases have been among the most difficult things that I've tried to get out of the crown so far. So um, what I'm going to do right now is actually go ahead and use the skills ball as a form and actually go to a nice flat iron to try and um, remove these creases that I put into the buckram here. So um, we're going to try that. The setup is as follows. I mean, I just got a towel here to keep this from moving around so much. Then I'm simply going to put the crown of the cap on that ball there and try and get a targeted area here. Now, really important, um, anytime you iron something, that uh, this, I believe, is a wool cap, but poly wool, the fibers, if you singe those at the surface with the surface of the iron, um, they're gonna take on a shine. It just happens that way. And um, what I'm going to do here is just grab another layer here. This is a little bit of a towel with some texture, so that might not be great, but I've got some other options that are smoother. I'm just going to cover this, cover the cap so that I don't pick up that shine and then uh, hit it with a flat iron to see if I can get those creases to smooth out. So we're going to do this, just apply some heat and then uh, we'll see how we come out here. So, let's, Okay, so this is kind of my target area, almost right on that stripe and the texture of the towel. Um, there's different materials you can set it for, higher heat, etc. Um, so I'm just going to see what kind of results I can get from doing this really quick. Okay, so that's pretty warm. I'm just going to let that cool for a second and then check and see how we did. Okay, so that is such a deep crease that I think it's still there a little bit. But most of it, you can still pick up just a little bit of shadow. And probably because this is a navy blue cap. Um, we're seeing that, but what I'm interested in now is seeing if I can get this deeper crease smoothed out. 
So let's go ahead and try that too. Okay, so for getting this bigger crease down here, you can see that I had to reposition the cap, kind of lay it on its side. And I'm just going to repeat the same thing. The skills ball is still inside the cap there. I'm still going to use that as my form. Get all the wrinkles out of the towel. And just try and do that evenly. And this again is when you have to go beyond, if you've got a crease that's this deep, this is when you have to go beyond steam or the hair dryer. So we are being successful in taking out the most uh, objectionable elements of that. You can still see it a little bit, but through all the treatments that we've done to this, um, I feel like it's getting it back to a more wearable uh, condition or at least what you'd expect out of a new cap. So now having done that, I've got my foam cap brush here and I've roughed up some of the surfaces again to just kind of clean that off and it does seem to um, give it a little bit more of the mat uh, of the fabric return. Again, I think I got a little bit of a high spot on the iron and maybe give it a little bit too much shine there. But overall, I'd have to say I'm pretty happy with the way this technique came out compared to the creases that I had put in this cap. So. So that was pretty much everything that I wanted to cover with you today. And again, uh, looking at the two problems of dents and creases with the crown, hopefully that answered most of the questions. Uh, and keep in mind that the techniques I showed, I might've used the hair dryer or the tea kettle uh, almost interchangeably. Heat is really the key when you're dealing with a buckram. If you're doing more with the full shape of the cap, the additional uh, moisture that you get from using steam can be helpful. Uh, but hopefully that gives you a couple of different techniques to try and make some repairs to your caps. And I also wanted to show that if you get a really bad crease, uh, like I had in the tiger's cap in the video, uh, that sometimes you can get it almost all the way out to where it's not noticeable so much anymore but chances are you're not gonna be able to get it 100% of the way gone, so it's not visible anymore. So just have reasonable expectations when you're trying to restore these caps. Uh, I tried just about everything I could think of to get that out, uh, and I think I got most of it out, but you, you can see from the photos that it's not 100% gone, but it's certainly a lot better than the way it started out. So anyways, uh, as always, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.